Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Tina Z, your favorite gender non-conforming ukuleleist and vocalist. Yes, this dress is unbelievable. Mmm! <laughs> I love it. It's brand new. Oh my gosh, what happened? What happened? You fell down. You're looking at my shoes? Yay! Sorry about that. Um, today I'm singing All of Me. All of Me. Which is a song that is, let me get over, <coughs> walk her over here and bring this thing over. Look at this. Yeah, it's my handy duty. Um, I don't know. Ron Burgundy. That's what we're going to call it. You know Ron Burgundy. I'm Ron Burgundy. Who typed a question mark? Okay, so the song All of Me is almost 100 years old. It's approaching 100 was written by Gerald Marks and Seymour Simon in the year of 1931. Miss Billie Holiday, the one and only, <clears throat> made it a, a massive hit in 1941. Okay? Okay. So we got those facts out of the way. So I'm singing this song uh, because, and I might have, I might have done this before, I don't know. If it is, if I have, this is a redo. Yay! Um, so, um, the song. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you about the song. The song is gorgeous, but I think most people sing it incorrectly. <laughs> That's, I shouldn't, I should, I should rephrase that. I don't mean it that way. If you're singing a song and you're interpreting it, in the way that you want to interpret it. There's no such thing as a wrong way to do it, okay? However, let me grab my ukulele and demonstrate this for you. So, um, back when uh, Billie Holiday did this, she's, you know, just the, one of the best jazz singers in the history of ever. Yeah, we all know this. <clears throat> so she kind of sang a jazzy version of it. Or, or, or uh, oh gosh, what's the term for it? Um, I can't think of the, I can't think of the term. There's a musical term. Maybe if I remember to research it, I'll put it here. Anyway, um, so it's a lot of people do it kind of that way. All of me, why don't you take all of me? Kind of jazzy, kind of uh, scatty, kind of, yeah, like that. And my goodness, um, I don't interpret the lyrics that way in any way. I think this is one of the most tragic songs lyrically that I've ever heard. This is a song of a breakup, and this is a song where the person really doesn't want to go on. The, the person who who has lost his or her love doesn't want to go on and is saying, you might as well take my lips, you might as well take my arms, you might as well take all of me because without you, I'm nothing. I am I can't, I have nothing to go on, no reason to go on. Basically, that's the song. And it's very sad. It's a very sad song. And I think you can do very sad songs on an ukulele. And I, I am... Um, always glad when I can kind of uh, illustrate that sort of thing. And so this is one of those songs, and it's just heart-wrenching if you think about it in those terms. <clears throat> about someone who's aching so badly for his or her lost love. And so that's the way I do it. And, and when I perform it that way, I slow it way down. And I do it m kind of half and half in falsetto. And there was a time long, long, long ago when I was starting out as a vocalist and I thought falsetto was the F word. <laughs> like you were, you were not supposed to do that because it's cheating. Somehow it's cheating. Well, luckily, I had voice lessons with a spectacular teacher named Jessica. And we were um, talking about falsetto one time and and she basically said, if you can, if you can reach the notes in falsetto, you, that's your voice. You're reaching the notes. That's your range. It doesn't matter if it's head or chest voice. 
<laughs> that's you. And then she had me listen to Bohemian Rhapsody <laughs> with the almighty, this person right here, Freddie Mercury. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. He floats in and out of that um, head and chest voice so beautifully, so gorgeous. Uh, of course, you all know that vocal. It's amazing. And so, uh, ever since Jessica kind of turned my thinking on it, I've kind of looked for songs where I can embrace it and just lean heavily into a falsetto because it kind of, it kind of helps emotionally with a song when you can do that. And so this is one of those songs. <clears throat> this is one of my favorites to do that on. This is called All of Me, written in, what did I say, 31? Yeah, right? Yeah, 1931. <laughs> Whew, that's a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, here it is. Hope you like it. Yay! Bye.
Thanks for watching. Bye.